everybody, it's Sherry Moulton Call here. Calling, yes, haha. -ha. This is my first video ever. I'm going to try a skyline swipe, and I've pre did my canvas. I just put gesso on it, and then I did a white, and I did Artist Loft light blue, and I just kind of did a swipe over just to give it kind of a base color. And the colors I'm going to use today are Artist Loft Bright Yellow, Artist Loft Orange, Artist Loft Thalo Green, Deco Art Turquoise, Artist Loft Metallic Red, Artist Loft Brilliant Red. It's going to be colorful. Artist Loft Metallic Blue. Artist Loft Light Magenta. Artist Loft Dark Magenta. And I have a little bit left of Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. And your basic white that I have from Michaels and it is oh, the acrylic flow artist white they are all mixed two part flow trawl one part paint a little bit of water and they all have silicone in them except for the white and the black. All right, I'm just gonna give them a quick shake. I love mixing my paints together prior because that's the most pain part of painting, is mixing all of the paints. So I got a new camera stand, so hopefully this is turning out, I'm not quite sure, but we'll find out, I guess, in the end. I've pre-cut a whole bunch of little papers, piece of cardboard box, different sizes to swipe with. All right, here we go. I'm gonna do a line of black, a little lower than halfway. I'm just going to lay some colors. Oh. One second, let me just pop all my, open them up so I can do this a little quicker. This looks so pretty. I was watching a video by, I'm probably going to really, really bash the name. Volca S V O L H A S. Her video was very nice. So I thought I would give it a try. All right. Two more. Sorry. I might not use all of these colors because I pulled out quite a few, but we'll see what it looks like. All right, here we go. And blue and yellow look so pretty together. Green. 
I'll do one strip of colors and then I'll swipe and see how it turns out. It just looked very cool. And I think that's that. Here, let's start swiping. Now I cut them a little smaller depending on what size I used. Cool. And she did some that she did a couple together. wasting these we can reuse them uh, a little one here oh, this is going to be so cool I just love bright colors. If I could add sparkles into this, that would just be the ideal. <laughs> my family knows anything sparkly. Sorry, my camera, I think, is jiggling on me. too much but we'll see pull it up high for some reason I am wiggly there we go now we'll do some more colors how about I just we'll do this Very excited. I moved all of my paint stuff downstairs in my basement. Now I'm finding out that my basement's chilly. My daughter was telling that when she lived here. I'm glad she left her little heater. My son came and helped me organize. couple more red there and we'll do a little orange in that one little spot perfect all right here we go oh I left this out let's put a little dab in here and in here and in here. There. Da, da, da. It's such a neat idea and I love the long rectangle canvases. You can do a little A little more with them. At least I find. I'm going to try with my left hand. Look. 
coming straight up for some reason. Let's try and do just a bigger swipe. Hmm. Don't like that. I'm seeming to lose the color for some reason when I'm swiping. I'm trying to not put so much pressure. Nah. That's a bit better. I have to bend. the um, the paper a little bit cut a couple more that are a little smaller here we go back in and do another little swipe over some of these ones that looks like they've been missed. Try and get the tall ones up. Mm -hmm. It's so much fun. I'm excited about Christmas. I'm my daughter and my son's girlfriend. I think we're going to do a little painting class down here over the holidays. I'm excited. That would be f fun. They're both a little crafty. I think I might have used too many colors. Oh well. Live and learn, right? I just, I hate wasting paint. <laughs> Let's see. Almost, we're at the end. Oh. Why is it not wanting to? Like I'm going too deep into the to the black might be the problem. I don't know. There. I keep going to the canvas. I don't know why. <laughs> All right. Oh, that looks so muddy. All right. Let's. I don't know. I prefer to do this with paper towel. This seems a little, for me, everyone does things different. And I've only been doing this for a couple of months. So. And I'm enjoying it tremendously. All right. Last. Now I'm going to come back and do a little color where I, it's missed. Let's see if that helps. Ah, oh, that's better. We'll make it tall. And over here, 
Make that guy a little shorter. Might come in here with some more blue. A little bit wider one. <laughs> Sorry. I do some weird sound effects sometimes. There we go. I might do just a small red one here in the front. looks good. Just gonna put a couple little more smaller ones in here just to ooh <laughs> might be a little more than what I wanted but that's okay. All's good. Some dimension. Hmm. Maybe a little bit of yellow in front of that. Whoops, I want to get that in there. I love these containers. Got them at uh, Walmart for my paints. scraping the paint off. That's not what I want to do. I think we're going to leave it at that. I don't want to play with it and mess it up. Okay, now we're going to do the bottom. So I'm just going to match the, try and match the colors because we're going to start at the end down here. I could try and find the blues, match the blues. This is actually fun. I find this relaxing. My husband has decided to go to bed early tonight. He gets himself all reversed. Has a hard time getting turned around. I think he's about turned around for Christmas. Which is good. And they don't have to be perfect, just as long as they're kind of the same colors, I think, within that range. So you get because that's the one thing I like about this abstract painting, it's all up to the eye of the beholder, which is kind of cool. No holds barred. Or however you say that. <laughs> no holes barred. Alright. Let's put a little bit of this in here. And then I'm going to put a line of white underneath this. And then we're going to swipe. All the way down.
here we go. Let the swiping commence. All right. Oh, I'm, if I do this again, I'm going to use paper towels. Try and drag it down as far as you can. Oh, that looks kind of cool. I guess I should be doing different. creepers. It's hard getting used to a different technique. I can't even swipe with a spatula, so mind you, I haven't really practiced it, so shouldn't say never, never, never. putting some music on. Listen to something while we're doing this. Because you don't want me singing. That's a scary thought. Ooh, that's a bit too much dark. Pretty easy, looks kind of cool. I'm not sure. This is pretty cool. I'm excited. I'm going to lay some more resin. I've been making resin coasters and cheese boards. And I have a couple orders left to fill. I'll give you a sneak peek there actually turned out I was pretty amazed I just did a di dirty pour on top of them and uh, let them dry for a day and then I just poured resin on top of them They turned out very, very cool. All right. Let me just touch that up a little bit better. I don't like the way they end. I think I'm just going to put a little bit of a black to define that more. Because I lost quite a bit of that. There we go. One second here. For some reason, something came on here. There we go. 
All right, I think, I think, I don't know. I think that's it. We'll see. I'll show you when it dries tomorrow. I think my black ran in here. I think I'm going to leave it. I hate touching too much. The more you touch, the more it goes worse. That's my opinion, anyways. I am going to... Just getting some coasters. These are the lovely coasters I made. I think they turned out pretty nice. I just love the colors. And there's the other one. And I'm doing cheese boards. And they're just prepped and ready to be painted tomorrow. So, or acrylic to resin on top, I guess. Well, thank you for joining me for my first video. I hope to see you again. Bye.